Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replays today with a TVC again, but this time on Coda Letter Edition. As you have spawning in the left top position, it's the Blue Sir Flops. And he's playing against me, the Red Terran spawning in the right bottom position, Alex Sasher. Woo! So, let's see. Maybe. We might, we, we could see Brute Lords again, I guess most likely not. There are not a lot of people playing Brute Lord. Uh, because Ultralists are just stronger, they are faster. Mm, but yeah, the, the Ultralists also have a big um, yeah, disadvantage. They are countered by Marauder somehow. And the AI, the pathing AI of the Ultralist is really a bit buggy sometimes. If you have like, a, f for example, if he attacks with Ultralist here and here, and I got a bunch of supply depots, not not, not as wall, but um, with with spaces between them, like one one square space between them, and there are units behind, then they can't fit through, but they try to attack, and then they derp around in front of the supply depots the whole time. Which is mm, not good for the third because the ultralists are just taking fire and not dealing any damage. That's that. So maybe that's the case why people still go sometimes for brute lords because that can be avoided. Uh, still, I, I think I think in my opinion that uh, brute lords are not as good as ultralists. Ultralis can crush an army of creep, but they are super awesome on creep. So if you, you can't, I would say you can't take a fight as a bio terran against a Zerg who got Ultralis on creep. Ultralis Ling Bane on creep is disastrous for you as Terran. You can't push out on creep there. It's it's just not possible. So there we go, drone scout. Just in case of 11-11. Really nice, I like that. Mm, the Overlord spots it. Ooh, look at that. There we go. One Reaper, and behind that, the Reactor. So, um, a bit diversity behind that in my playstyle. But this time again, gas less opening. So, we will see if I try to go super standard, standard uh, free command center at the 5 minute mark, or if I commit to that. Because against roaches you can commit with the double factory reactor. You, you can do that. It's possible. And it can deal real damage, but it's difficult, so I'm not sure. For now I just scouted around, jugglings are out. So there we see the factory and marines being produced. Okay. Uh, the Reaper positioning itself at the possible third base of the Zerg. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I should maybe produce two more Marines. There we go. Reaper sneaks in again. Oh, it's super low already. Could get sniped by that Queen. And that happens. And I don't see what's in the main base. Oh, that's, that's a bit unfortunate for me. But hey, stuff like that can happen from time to time. Very annoying. But yeah, that's that's it. And the command center behind that. So yeah, that's that's good to see. Just playing it standard because of no gas opening. Still, if there is gas, there could also be roaches, of course. But most of the time, if it's gasless opening, it's most likely a roach-based play. At least in the early to mid game. Not guaranteed, but most of the time. Mm, the first two Hellions are out on the map. And yeah, now two gases are being taken. Super standard stuff out of flaps. And I can go down and take my base myself. As I know, no gas, no threat for me to go down. And I will scout the space, see, okay, it's up. And I will sacrifice those Hellions as it looks like. Uh, see one gas, see slow circling, see no gas here, and it's okay. I mean, those Hellions, sure, you wanna have them normally, but against Roaches, they are not that important. 
and yeah, so you can you can sacrifice them for scouting purposes. It's okay. And as you can see, I'm switching immediately into tanks because I saw nothing. Uh, it could be Mutalisk as well, but that would be quite late, I would say, because he, he took the gases so late. And of course, he has a third base, so most likely not Mutalisk play. You see, but now, ah, double evil chamber and the bailing nest. So tanks, not really helpful. We see a lair, so this should be Ling Mutalisk Bailing. I like the creep spread, that's really good creep spread he's doing here. That's awesome. If he keeps continuing like that, he will have super map vision. So yeah, he's... The, the, the funny thing is, if I would have committed to my push, it would hit right now with like 10 halberds and 10 marines. GG! Because he got nothing to defend. Slow circlings, bailings not ready, that would be so GG, but uh, I, I, it's, it's difficult to scout. I saw two gases, nothing else, so you don't know what's coming. You just can't know. And I lost the Reaper, that was the biggest issue. I lost the Reaper. Hellions patrolling just in case of, of Nidus Swarm. So I'm completely misreading the situation. I don't scan either. So I should... Look at the creep spread. Oh wow. So I should send out a Hellion. Or scan. To know what's coming. Because tanks are not really helpful. So after the two tanks I'm staying defensively. Getting the reactor here. Which is okay I guess. But I still have no plan what's going on. I'm getting 1-1. One, one. A bit delayed, yeah, halfway done already for the surplus, so quite delayed. Creep spread is continuing like crazy, he's doing this really good. Uh, he should maybe take soon another base or throw down a hatchery. Uh, uh, macro hatch. There we go, finally moving out with the Hellions, just to scout around what's going to happen. And I will have a look at the upgrades. Yeah, guess I clicked it. And now I see speedlings, and that shows me, okay, most likely not roaches. I can continue with the Vidoman production. And that's important, you need to know what's going on. The real problem is I'm, I'm late with the third base, and I haven't done any damage yet whatsoever, so he was free to do whatever he wants. That, that's a real problem. And I need to figure out how I improve my scouting to know when to transition into what, because Gasless opening can trick you, you don't know what's coming. You don't see at the 7 minute mark the Roach Run and the Double Evo Chamber. Difficult. Very difficult. Because normally, if, if, there, is a, if there is a Roach Run at the 7 minute mark, 7.30 as, as late, uh, the, the latest, and some Evo Chambers, two of them, then you know, okay, it's a Roach Roach 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one, one timing, but you need to scout it. And that can be difficult. So yeah, very defensive, amazing creep spread. Half of the map is, is uh, covered by creep now. Almost. Yeah. A lot of creep spread indeed. In combat shield super late, look at that. Because I was focusing on units, and in the army supply you see it's looking uh, it's looking okay. And I can move out, there are just barely no mutalis out yet. But can I take this fight? Can I take this fight? Oh you should there! No, I cannot take this fight. No way near. Uh, good transfusers. Uh, I might be able to clear something of... Oh, the Banes! Uh, I guess it's okay. It's 1-1 one, one against 1-1. One, one. But I have to pull back. So he defended that quite nicely. Oh, there's a bit of mine. Ooh, kills a Mutalisk. But he gets the tanks. They weren't useful either, so whatsoever. But unit lost tap shows. Haha, <laughs> very good trade for him. Very, very good trade. And I wasn't able to push back the creep as well. So I'm super far behind. I have to pull down turrets. And I'm still not uh, fully saturated at my third base. Very bad spot to be in. I would love to see him being more active with the Mutalist, but so far, I guess that's okay. And there we go. There we go. Additional barracks, as well as the second factory for Thor and the Drilling Claws upgrade. 2-2 is starting for me, but yeah, when he will he max out? He needs more gas, so that's what he got there. 
Okay. So, flies in. His mutilus flock is quite big already. 16 mutilus. Almost. This is good. Very helpful for him. He can't really fly into turrets because turrets are just so good. But. Yeah. You see my vision? You see his vision? His creep spread is phenomenal. Combined with the overlord spread, he sees everything. And yeah, that's just amazing creep spread here. His circlings are going for a counter attack. That's not gonna work too good, I would say. Yes, there are a lot of circlings, but without Banes, I don't see him doing too much damage. Uh, he might force me to pull back here. Ah, the bunker, the bunker falls. And he's going for the main base. Uh, the natural. Oh, uh, he killed a lot, I would say. There's a double medivac drop right here. 11 worker killed, 12 for him. There are the mutalisks. There are the circlings. He's pulling back. Uh, losing the gas there. He might lose the spire. Will he get, will I get the spire? I'm trading here. Focusing the spire. It's so low. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, transfuse! No! What am I doing? I'm not... Oh! <laughs> he saves the spire! Awesome! I should have focused it down instead of trading with the circlings, but... Uh, and now the plus one carapace upgrade gets through. That's huge, the... Wow, the transfuse. Super clutch there. So overall, that was good for, for flops there. Really good. And yeah, I cleared a little bit of creep, but still. His creep spread is phenomenal. That's real masterly creep spread. Ah, oh, the widow mine! 16 kills! Hype! Ah, uh, the mutalist now. Oh, oh! Oh, carefully there! You don't want to lose all your mutalis to the widow mine! <laughs> oh, no! That's, that's how you throw away your mutalis, guys. Oh, I'm losing a mutalis to this single marine. This, this guy got four, five kills already. It's corporal, now it died. He died. It's not a it. It's a human being in a computer game. Uh, Bane links marching forward. A lot of Banes. Oh, this one widow mine! Ooh, gets cleaned by those Bane links detonations. Uh, why am I not stimming? Oh, uh, the spread is horrible. Uh, the widow mine not getting any good connection there. The Bane links dealing real good damage. He might even be able to kill the command center there. I'm so far behind. Look at that. Uh, the Bane links. Ah, uh, the spread is. I don't know. Okay, but the mutalisks. They, they might be able to kill the command center. Uh oh. There's the Thor. Thor is here. The command center might go down. It's so close. No. He's pulling back. He's not coming to. Oh. If I would have lost that. If I would have lost that. Oh my god. That's as close as the spire was. He should have committed to it, I think. That would have been huge. But he didn't want to lose the. the yeah, everything was blocked because the one depot wasn't lowered, so uh, that's not looking too good here. Flaps, I guess he has a problem with his injects, as you can see on the queens. Yeah, and there are queens. How many queens does he have? Oh, j nine queens. He's on ten queens. Where are all his queens? What the heck? Oh, in the center on the map. That's not helpful. And there's an empty bunker and a turret. But the turret gets taken out immediately, and he might be able to kill this co orbital command. I'm so far out of position. And down goes the orbital command! No! Ah! The repair! The repair is real! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh no, don't fight those marines. There are two, two marines. You can't fight those. I should start upgrades. He's marching in with all the screens! Uh, Banelings crushing into this. Planetary fortress killing it immediately. The Thor survives, but that was an expensive bust. He's losing all the queens for nothing. I don't know if it was worth sacrificing all the banes. Normally I would say yes in his situation, but his macro behind is not that good. And that's the problem, because now I can attack. If he would be able to remake immediately with like 100 circlings and then 50 banings, I would say yeah. That was worth it, but otherwise, now he's in a huge trouble because. Ah, look at that. Dropping there, attacking here. Mm, okay, so he's clearing that one. Most, no! Don't pull back the Banelings! The Marines can trade forever against those Circlings! Oh no! No splits whatsoever, but the Thor taking out all those Banes. 
Ah, and there's the drop now. Killing a lot of stuff there. Uh, Flub's got a huge bank but can't remake his units because of the lava. He needs a magic box on top of the Thor. Uh, will he do this? Oh, hot pickup! Is it too late? Oh! Oh, those Thor gets there. Oh! Losing the Thor with the medevac there. I tried to be cool. I wasn't. Spire gets taken out, so all his mutalists he made are the last one he will make in this game for a long time. Mm, Marauder trading quite good against the circles with the help of the medevac. There's a middle bit of mine. Ooh. Okay. And still I'm on... Uh, oh, lifting the orbital command on the main base down to the fourth base. Little minds are burrowing. Not getting the best connections. There are a lot of marines here with 3-3 uh, three, three upgrades against one more mutalist. You can't fight that! You can't! You simply cannot fight that. He's remaking the spire. His bank depleted almost completely. The creep spread still looking awesome, but mm, his macro wasn't the best. So that's, that's the big problem for him. He just can't do it. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. So what's going on here? He's on 52 drones. That's not a lot either. And he got not too many banes left. He's clearing all those little mines. Oh! Good shots on those overseers. Taking them to low HP. Mm, banelings morphing in. Uh, walking in. There we go. But no, the spread is too good. He got no banes left. Look at the spread. It's just too much. Just the Wither Mines. Awesome. I have no clue how, but somehow I think I've done it. Banelings. Getting good connections there. The Queens are marching forward. But those Marines, man. Ah, they get taken out. But the Wither Mines behind that. Now he doesn't see the Wither Mines anymore. Oh, huge shot there. And... He's trading quite good with the Mutalisk. But will it be enough? Oh my god, there are three more Vidamines here. If he isn't careful with the Mutalisk. Oh no, 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 no. He's coming top here. He lost the fourth base. He can't clear all those Marines. It's so close. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. No! Oh my god! <laughs> GG! <laughs> Widow Mines! Coolio! Yep! <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I had playing and casting. And as always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.